hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Danny James if you're new here thank you for swinging by in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to emulate an iPhone recording screen what I mean by this is that we're going to be making a video which has been shot either on our phone or on a camera to look as if it's being recorded real time on an iPhone on my timeline I have a video my sequence settings as you can see this is a vertical video this is because on my sequence settings I have a 1080 by 1920. Normally we usually have a 1920 by 1080 video. So this is a vertical video. From the source, the raw video it has been taken. You can see I shot this using portrait mode on the camera because I knew I'd want to have the video looking upright as if it is on a mobile phone. What you're going to be doing, we're going to be working with Adobe After Effects to bring up the full visual effect. I'm going to add a new item and in this case I'm going to add a transparent video. If you're using an older version of Adobe, go to File, New and Transparent Video should be available there. I'll drag this transparent video over and drag it as long as I can. For now I'll get it to where it's at. I'll also extend this video. Okay. The next thing you want to do you want to right click on the transparent video and replace with After Effects composition. Now that you are on Adobe After Effects, the first thing you want to do will be creating a few shapes so that you can mimic the full iPhone thing. I'm going to be creating an ellipse, so I just drag this ellipse tool. You can create a circle in the middle. And I'm holding shift to lock the aspect ratios and then I'll get back to my selection tool. For this one, I do not want, I want a fill of white. I want a fill of white. And let's rename this layer to, I'll press enter to rename it, circle fill. Again, I'll duplicate this by hitting control D on Windows and command D on Mac. And for this second circle, let me drag it so that you can see what we are doing. On this second circle, for the properties, I don't want to have a fill, but instead I would like to have a stroke. So I'll hold Alt while clicking on the fill to scroll through and now I, I don't have any fill. I'll hold Alt and do the same thing on the stroke. I'll hit it once and I see I have a stroke. You can change the stroke width and all that, but for now I don't think I'm going to be changing anything. Let's rename the second one, Circle Stroke. And again, you want to have the circle which has a fill to be slightly smaller, so I'll scale it down. You can use the scaling options or you can do it with this. And let's see how everything looks like. This is what I wanted us to have, a circle with a fill in the middle and a circle with a stroke outside. I'll hold shift, click on these two layers and I'll pre-compose them. Let's name them bottom left. What you can do now that it's pre-composed, we can move it evenly and even scale it down as a unit. So I'll place it right here. I'll, I still want to make it a little bit smaller. Now I want to create another circle here. Let's go for this ellipse tool, create a circle. This circle should have a stroke in now. We have a stroke and we want to create another rectangle now. I'll hold here while clicking and get a rectangle tool and draw it right in the middle of this. I'm holding shift to lock the aspect ratio once again. That looks good. I'll get back to my selection tool and for this middle rectangle, I want to not have a stroke and instead we shall have a fill. I can change to whatever red looks like and that's it. I'll squeeze it to the right quite a bit so that it can be central of this. As we did previously, let's rename these layers red rectangle and I'll rename this one stroke circle holding shift click on both of them pre-compose now we can move them as a unit place them here we can change the scaling to make it smaller and now we have the basic framework for what we are doing I'll hit control save but before we leave After Effects, we need to disable the visibility for the transparent icon. For now, I leave it as it is and let's head back to our Premiere. We can see everything what we have done, but we are unable to see the layer below, which has the video. 
So let's get back to After Effects. Disable the visibility for transparent for the transparent video. Hit Control Save. We are now halfway done, and it looks quite alright. Now you want to have a time code which will show the seconds or the duration as someone is shooting. For this tutorial, I want anyone to be able to make this. There is an inbuilt time code effect on Adobe Premiere. If you go to a effects tab and type time code, it should be right here under video. What usually happens, you usually drag it on the video and instantly you can see the timer right here. Let's increase the size so that you can see what you're talking about. Yes. The only problem is that where it's at, currently we, we have very minimal control over it. We cannot rotate it. We cannot place it where we want to because it's already on the video. So what you want to do, then let's delete the time code. We'll go to our project. Let's create a new transparent video. Again, I showed you how to fetch it if you are using an older version and I'll drag it to my timeline. Let's label it on a different color so that it can be easy to follow through. I'll go to the effects and drag the time code right here. I'll increase the size for this. Let's take it somewhere up. I want us to see what you're working with. We have a few settings to change so that it can give us the desired look. The format that we'll be using will be the SMPTE. Let's disable the fill symbol. The fill symbol is this white right here. We do not want it. That white dot let's disable it and the time code source make sure to use generate when it's at generate it will start counting from zero and it should align what we are trying to make anything else that we can change you should be the opacity of the rectangle behind the shape and for a mobile phone especially the iphone it's kind of faded again the advantage of using this transparent video is that we can now rotate this thing i'll rotate it 90 degrees let me see where it's at here it is and i'll place it right here on the right hand side somewhere in the middle i believe you have covered everything and now let's preview our animation as you can see the timing matches our sequence we are at 303 and the same thing is happening right here which means that we've done an awesome job. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it was easy to follow through with. In case you have a question, you can leave a comment or a suggestion on what you'd like me to do or show you. That's it guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. You can leave a thumbs up and you can leave a comment in case you have any suggestion and make sure to stay creative.